What is up you guys, it is boy Matthew and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we're taking a look at some affordable alternatives to some pretty high-end items. Before we get into it, if you feel so inclined, go ahead and follow me on social media. I will leave a card on screen. If you guys know me or been on the channel for a while now, you know that I don't buy too much into fast fashion, mostly because I'm the type of person that if I want a specific item, I'd rather save up and get that specific one, because if I keep buying alternatives, I'll eventually still want to buy the actual version, if that makes sense. Beyond that, there are times where there are items that I really want, but I don't fully want to commit to paying for it. That's where fast fashion comes in. As far as it goes, these two items are from Zara, so without further ado, let's hop right into the first item. The first item that this is replicating is the Issey Miyake Omplisse shorts. Now those retail for about three to four hundred dollars, which is a lot, and I didn't know if I was going to wear them that often. Recently I watched a Devon on Deck video, which is actually where I found both of these items. This first item is a pair of shorts, again this is the jogger short, the oversized pleated jogger short from Zara. Retail on these were $45, I personally picked this up on sale for $25. I, I picked up the light gray color, um, it's super nice, the fabric is very lightweight, perfect for the summer. As far as it goes, it features two side entry pockets, a zip fly, drawstring waistband, and I do believe there is a single back pocket, I could be wrong on that last detail there. As far as sizing goes, I typically wear a large across the board when it comes to drawstring pants. I wear a size 34 in numbers, but I actually got these in a medium because again, they are a bit oversized so they fit a bit big. Getting the medium, it fits perfect in the waist, there even is still a bit of room left. As far as length goes, you know I like my shorts above my knee. These go below my knee. I'll show you guys what they look like right now. Let me know if you guys think I should alter them like by shortening them. I feel like I might, but let me know what you guys think. As far as styling goes, I'm gonna keep these super simple, just a plain summer fit. Probably throw on a plain tee, whether it be a black or white tee, throw on some slip-on bands and call it a day. You could potentially dress these up, but in my opinion, this is just a little bit of a statement short to kind of break up the outfit as far as texture goes just a little bit. The next item in question is gonna be some footwear. A little bit of backstory, I've been a huge fan of loafers and casual suiting recently. When it comes to loafers, I've been looking at the Laurel Piana Summer Walks. I feel like those are very nice. Xenia, I'm a huge fan of their clothing as well as their shoes recently have been very nice. Recently, Xenia did a collaboration with Fear of God where they released more of a bit of luxury athleisure mixed with more tailored, um, tailored options. That's where my mindset was when purchasing these pair of loafers. Um, again, Laurel Piana is my grail as far as loafers go, but Fear of God itself has recently stepped into that loafer game and they've done it very well. Now this is the split leather loafer again from Zara. Retailing these was I believe $40. Um, I got these again on sale for $25, which is an absolute steal. Now the colorway online, it looked like an olive green, which I wasn't too keen on, but when it came in, it was actually more of a light brown tobacco suede, not tobacco suede, but a light gray suede color, which I actually liked a lot. As far as sizing goes, I typically wear a US 10 to 10 and a half. This is a EU 44, so it equates to about an 11, so I did go that half size up, but it still fits perfectly. As far as of how I'm gonna style it, I'm gonna go the first one, a bit sticking to, to that Italian luxury house like that Xenia Loro type aesthetic. I'm gonna throw it on with some linen loafers from Onia, and I'm gonna throw it on a vintage brown polo from Versace. Let me know what you guys think about this outfit. Personally, I am going on a cruise um, in the upcoming future, assuming all goes well and COVID still decides to let us go on a cruise. Um, this is a fit I'd probably wear on there, as well as a day on South Beach, something of that nature. That's where I think this outfit would shine. Beyond that, I'm also gonna go with the new Jerry aesthetic where he does loafers, again, casual loafers with sweatpants, keeping it cozy. I'm a bit more luxury athleisure here. I'm gonna throw them on with the Amelion Dor Collegiate sweatpants as well as throw it on with the black uniform hoodie. I think as far as it goes, these are both high quality items and they fit the aesthetic very nicely. High quality, but also keeping it casual and comfortable. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the video, keeping it super simple and clean. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and turn on that bell notification icon so you know when I drop another video. If you guys are interested, I'll drop the links to these items down in the description, so go ahead and check it out. Till the next time I see you guys face to face, it's been your boy Matthew. Take it easy, stay safe, peace.